He ate it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. He's a monster. We're on a mission today for some of these giant spring bass. They have been bedding and the fishing has been heating up. We just creeped up through the woods on this juicy little pond here. And we're gonna get rigged up real quick and get to casting. I have a feeling that this is gonna happen really quick, guys. I think we can get on some giants pretty fast. I got my Kicking Their Bass TV X Loose combo. If you guys wanna check it out, kickingtheirbass.com. Springtime's heating up, but it's time to go fishing. So go get you a Kicking Their Bass combo. Link will be down below. And I got a box of soft plastics right here. This is the new mock crawl. It just got released on Tackle Warehouse. If you like to catch some big bass this spring, you should go check it out. The link will be in the description box down below. We're gonna be using a mock crawl today. The water here is pretty stained, so I'm gonna be using a darker color. And one of my favorites has to be this Okeechobee crawl. It has black and red on the top, green pumpkin on the bottom, and that is overall a killer color that I love throwing. We are so close to hitting our goal of 1 million subscribers. If you've been enjoying the videos and want to support the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate y'all. We're pairing this up with a little tungsten weight with a 3 aught extra wide gap hook. Simple Texas rig, guys. When I'm fishing for these fish up shallow in the springtime, most of them are on bed. My favorite bait to throw is a little crawl on a Texas rig. And that is what we're going to get started with, guys. Well, let's go ahead and start flipping this bank and see if we can get some bites. These fish should be staged up here. And uh, I think we're about to experience some insane fishing today. This is a perfect bank for these bass to be spawning on. It's 60 degrees out this morning. Little to no wind. It's been so windy this week. And today's just the first perfect day. I'm hoping we can get on some of these fish here. Dude, there's a snake right there, bro. I can't stand snakes, boys. I don't know if you guys saw that. He was just slithering right there. That is the one thing in this world that I don't mess with is dang snakes, bro. I mean, we're fishing hidden ponds today that are in the woods. We're going to see stuff like that, especially when the weather's this dang nice. But gosh, do I not mess with snakes, man. Of course, we started off the video seeing a snake. Now I'm going to be freaking really watching myself I thought he was trying to come up and say what's up what's up brother oh my god there's another one bro look at him right out there he was just coming back up well the snakes are out today let's hope uh the bass are gonna bite i don't know if seeing two snakes right off the rips good luck or, or what but i don't really like it all right we're gonna walk down to this corner oh dude there's a fish on bed and i actually see him bro i actually see a fish on bed it is a freaking tank. Oh my gosh, horrible flip. I meant to go past the fish. I totally just landed so far up on him. He's looking at my bait though. Oh my God, dude, that's a giant. He ate it. Oh my gosh, he's a monster. It's a, oh my gosh, he's a monster. He's a monster. Come on, baby, stay pinned, stay pinned. Oh, this is a tank. Oh my gosh dude that's like an eight pounder oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my goodness guys first fish of the video first flip on that bed and i just caught i don't know she's not eight pounds but she's probably a high six to seven pounder oh my gosh yep that's how today's gonna go that is unbelievable on the mock crawl i don't know what i got going on here guys come on there she goes that is an absolute monster man literally saw her on bed we got a scale over here we're gonna get a quick weight and get her back in the water i had a pretty bad flip but i worked that bait in slow saw her pull back up she smoked that thing man no wind and a little bit of sun today I was able to spot this fish. Here we go. Oh my God, almost a seven. Six and a half, baby. Six pounds, 0.53. Six and a half pounder, 
to start off the video on our first fish in the first five minutes that is unbelievable boys and we're gonna get this baby right back on our bed oh that's the male bass right there oh my god that was a three pound male thank you baby thank you so much for biting dude that is a freak of nature there she goes oh my gosh I can't even believe that. First fish, almost a seven pounder. And we are cooking already, boys. This is gonna be a banger. That Okeechobee crawl got her done, man. And there was a good three pounder. Right? Oh, I thought that was grass and I just went over her back. I might be able to catch this male bass. The fact that that male is like three pounds is crazy. We're gonna keep walking down this bank, keep our eyes peeled, Let's see if we can see any more big girls up on bed here. That sun was laid out perfect. The last time I went fishing, I actually came out here and had a couple really good fish. And it was so windy that you couldn't see anything. With that sun being up today, and not only the sun, but having that wind very low, I was able to spot that fish and make a precision cast. But I'm gonna be honest, guys, I don't think that's the only fish we're gonna find on bed today. <laughs> and that is our second bed fish of the year, second sight fish. And we're gonna keep it rolling here. So that male bass that's on that bed, we're probably gonna be able to catch him a little later. But this pipe I got bit at the other day, and I think there's a fish on bed here. There are a few casts right here. I can't really see on that pipe. It's a little, it's a little depthy, not super shallow. There's a little ripple on the water. Oh yeah. There's 100% of fish in there. I see it keep rippling. Water just has a slight ripple right there. My heart is racing, guys. I still have not calmed down from that fish. What a moment. So pretty much what I'm doing here. Is I'm pitching and flipping this bait up on the bank and I'm just bobbing it. I'm moving it a little fast because at the end of the day, I'm not looking at these fish. I'm throwing down the bank. I'm giving it a couple hops. I'm popping it. I'm trying to entice any fish just to grab the bait. Once I feel the fish grab the bait, I can hunker in and be like, okay, there's a bed fish here and I can start fishing for him. But that's the thing with this water here. You know, it's not super stained, but it's stained enough to where I can't always see the fish. That fish was just laying up super shallow, perfect. So our main goal today is just to cover water, move this crawl a lot. And once we get bites, we hunker down. And if we can run up on the fish and actually spot them, that's a bonus. Spot looks too good, man. There gotta be a big old bash. Come on, Sean. Come on, big girl. Just bite my dang wiggler. There he is. Another giant. Oh my gosh. How many casts did I have to make up there? Okay, not a giant, but a decent fish. A little buck bass. That's an old male right there. There we go, guys. Second fish of the day. Not a bad one. I mean, that's a good two pounder. Definitely a male, but uh, there could be a female up on that bed. And I just spotted where I got that bite. So what we're gonna do now is continue to flip in that area because one thing we noticed on that other bed is there was a male and female. So it looks like we're timing this pretty good. Thank you, buddy. There you guys. Wow. Okay. We are moving guys, two bites, two fish, and we just gotta keep it rolling. So we're gonna start flipping in that general location. There could be a big female that's up there that wants to eat. Just seeing that male and female on bed on that other spot just gives me hope that these fish are, are locked right now. And I'll tell you, you know, we started off throwing some cast over this way. You know, this bank just looks so good. We didn't have any bites. We came back, made a bunch of good casts, and then boom, we finally get eaten. How you gotta think about this bed fishing when you're not actually looking at the fish is like, think about some of the days that you go out and bed fish in clear water. 
those fish aren't eating it on the first cast except for that big one i mean that one did but you know there, there's some fish that aren't gonna just launch that thing right away you're gonna have to make multiple casts sometimes even you know 100 casts on a fish so that's one thing you got to think about when you're doing this especially when you're not looking at the bass and sometimes when you're not looking at them it can make them a little easier to catch one you're not in your own head and two you know they don't really see you so here in a minute we're gonna fish a little bit more we're gonna actually go over to that section we're gonna have to go through the woods and there's a bunch of little crevices that we can fish in there and i think that spot could be ridiculous i love how the sun's like laying out on that bank you still got a lot of laydowns too if not more than over here i think that might be a really good area all right this first spot's been fired so let's uh keep on moving let's try to get on the other side of the bank we're approaching this other side here and i'm hoping we find some big old mama jamas man some big old juicy juicy mamas oh this bank looks flossed i'm not gonna lie it's a little tight Let's put our scale right here in our box yeah this is super tight bank but we should still be able to get some good casts here I don't think I've been out fishing this year to where I'm like, this just looks so prime. Watercolor and everything just, oh, it looks good. Yeah, this, this is gonna be a tough one, man. Between hooking the fish and flipping, we definitely have some obstacles here. And I'm stuck. Oh my gosh, look at that lunker, boy. Our first stick fish of the day, nice. We always be catching the stick fish, boys. It wouldn't be a normal day of fishing without catching the stick. I'm gonna get out of here. This spot's a little tight. I'm not gonna lie, I can't really do much. Oh my God, it's a massive wasp nest right there. Let's flip under it. <laughs> my final last words. Hits the wasp nest down. There's a wasp nest on my foot. We're just seeing everything today. We're seeing turtles, we're seeing stickfish, we're seeing gar, we're seeing big bass, we're seeing wasps, we're seeing loons. The wildlife is out today, they're feeling good. They're feeling a little better than me. I'm still recovering from my, my cold, man. But we're still out here doing it. We're putting in the time, putting in the work. Oh my gosh little buck bass oh that was such a cool eat though oh my gosh good thing that that fish wasn't seven eight pounds man because this little two pounder when i hooked at him he took off right to the left i thought i was about to lose this fish man i was about to say we, there's no way we can fish this whole bank without a bite and i flipped a little more off the bank right there that's something we're gonna have to think about here you know we talked about it a second ago with that cold weather coming in and these fish possibly not being all the way up on the bank and then all of a sudden we saw a male and a female way up on the bank so it kind of messed us up there this bass was at least i'd say four foot off the bank that's a good one to have two pounder thank you baby fish number three our crawl is a little messed up so we're gonna go back and put a new crawl on real quick all right so this is the question we've been using the okeechobee crawl and it's been working but there's a color in here that just, I don't know, man, it gets me feeling spicy, okay? So this one right here, a little bit of green pumpkin with some pink, blue, and green flake. This color's still really good in this water because like I said, it's not like it's chocolate milk. It's more of that tannic water look. It's kind of got that brown tint to it, a little bit of clearness. And I love the colors on this bait. Fish might think it's a little bluegill or something pulling up on them. Oh yeah, that color looks really good. Yeah, this water's a weird mixture. It's almost like tannic looking. Not, it's not super, super dark, but it's got that like brown glaze, brown tint to the water. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Another giant. I can't tell how big she is. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh my gosh, right on that point, dude. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good three pounder. I'll take her, man. I'll freaking take her. I threw right out there on that point, dude. It was probably six foot off the bank. And she hammered it. These fish are just brutes, man. Every one that we've caught today, even the small ones, have just been beautiful. 
right on that point, man. Textbook. We're gonna throw another cast out here. Yeah, he was about five foot off. Landed right on his dang head. I popped that thing once, it was done. So we ended up catching four fish in this pond. First fish, six and a half. Caught a couple two pounders and then a three pounder. I would say that's a success, but we're gonna keep on moving, keep on hunting around, and see if we can find some more of these ponds where these fish are on bed. Boys, I see some beds here. I could see it through the water. This is like similar water clarity to that first spot that we hit today. Oh my gosh, massive boil. See, I shouldn't have walked up there, man. I don't see any fish directly on bed. I just see the bed slightly in the water and obviously there's fish nearby. That fish is swam off. All right, we're gonna fish this corner real quick and we'll walk back over here. See if that fish pulls back up. Oh, dude, he was up there. Oh, he's up there right now. Oh, he's looking at my bait. He's swimming to the left. That is a big fish, dude. Oh my gosh. I barely see him. Okay, he's swimming to the left now. He actually pulled back up. Okay, that's a good sign. Oh man. I knew I should have made one more cast there. All right, we just need to fish down this bank a little bit. And I believe that fish is catchable. He's a little finicky and he's moving around, which I don't like. You know, this fish we caught earlier were pretty locked. I still think we might have a shot at catching that fish. We're just gonna keep on working down this bank some. Pretty positive that's her right there. She got it. I don't think that's the same fish. That was a sick catch. Yeah, that is not the same fish. <laughs> that is a little two pounder. But that is still a nice fish, man. She just picked that thing up, straight up hooks it right on the bank. Dude, this is so crazy today, guys. You know, we're catching a bunch of decent fish and then also some giants. And just all the male bass have been at least two pounds. It's just awesome to see, you know, the small ones we're catching today are still quality fish. Thank you, buddy. Here we go. Yeah, that's not the same fish I saw earlier. It's still a good one. Still a good uh, two pound buck bass, but that is not the female. There's so many beds in this corner. Let's see. Make a couple more casts there. That one that I saw was pretty hefty, man. It wasn't a two pound buck bass. <laughs> I do not see her anymore, guys. I don't know what happened. We'll give this like another couple minutes and then we'll just keep on moving. A lot of these ponds, I mean, they're on bed, man. So as many places we move and go to, I mean, you got solid with that first pond. We, we pulled up there. And within five minutes, we had a six and a half pounder. So I think the more places we check out and just kind of watch for, the better. Yeah, I'd say let's just go ahead and leave. Let's keep the ball rolling. Dude, look at that school of bluegill. Oh my God, look at the school of bluegill, dude. That is insane. Beautiful bluegill. It's a whole group of frog right there. I have never seen, I got one. There we go. Little tiny bass. I've never seen so many bluegill, dude. And they got something weird on them. Thank you, buddy. Like on their top fin, it's almost like orange. Like a, like a weird, like, no, almost all of them have it. Like it looks like a disease almost. We're gonna make a couple more flips right here. I had another bass. I was like looking at my bait one to eat it. He just never did. But I'm just so confused with these bluegill. So odd. Finally some clean water. This spot can be special. Yep, it can be special. It can be special. Okay, I haven't fished this place in so long, guys. And that right there is pretty freaking crazy. First flip, smallest fish of the day. 
I've not had anything that small, but there's some big ones in here. And we might have picked out the right spot. Let's just keep this momentum going, man. That was just a blind flip right out there in the middle. And this pocket is notorious for big fish. So hopefully they're just staged up here right. That was a tiny one off the bank, but I know there's probably some freaking monsters back here, guys. All right, let's keep on fishing around and see what we get to. That whole corner up there with that grass just looks so prime too. Fish jumping out there. Okay, we might be in the right spot. Right, let's keep walking down here. I just kind of want to see if there's any beds in here. Because this water is actually pretty visible. After starting off the video with a six and a half, I'm fiending for another one, man. I've just been hunting and hunting and hunting. Yeah, there's a beautiful bed right there. Nothing on it, though. There's just a bunch of small ones swimming around. I'm not buying it, though. There's some giants in here. Dude, there's at least 15 small bass on that bed. Like, they're not even worth flipping at. But there's like 20 of them right there. Oh my god, there might be like 50. That is insane, man. Yeah. There is so many small ones in this pocket. I mean, it's ridiculous. Look at this fish, though. He is such a little brute, dude. Such a little brute. Not big, but he is just fat and beautiful. Oh my gosh. All right, stop it. Not what we're looking for, but that was pretty cool. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. There's like five more right there. Dude, they're everywhere. I've never seen this. Like this pond's never like that. We just gotta get around to the big ones. I feel like they're gonna be coming when we get up by that bridge over there. Let's just keep it moving. There's a decent one right there. He just ate it that quick. I mean, I literally watched him eat it. Oh my gosh. Dude, that fish was literally just swimming. And I, right when I pitched my bait in the water, he just ran up and just smoked it. Another tiny one. It looked bigger than that. I thought it was at least a pound and a half. Gosh, man. We found the nursery. Dude, there's another one right there. I've never seen nothing like this. I just think it's a matter of time before we just walk around the corner and we're like, oh, there's a five, there's a six. I like the water clarity. I like how they're biting. I like the amount of fish. There's some fry right there in the water. This place is looking right. There's one right there. Huh? He's got some fry right next to him. Watch, he's going to eat this. Instantly. Oh, dude, these fish are aggressive, man. This is just stupid. I don't know what's going on. But I'm not even trying to catch any of these, these guys and they're just biting the heck out of it. We could catch a hundred of those things if we wanted to right now. I'm just trying to find the big ones. All right, we're going back to that juice color with the pink, green, and blue. The pink, green, and blue. I'm just gonna keep on walking till, dude, I can't, I, just get it out of your mouth. I, I don't even know what's happening. Watch, this fish probably gonna bite again. That's how stupid they are. I guess not. <laughs> dude, this is insane though. I, mean, I can't even throw my bait without getting it eaten. And I'm just watching all these fish, but they're just small. All right, boys and girls, it's time to keep this potty moving. I don't know what was going on with that last pond. It was just tiny one after tiny one after tiny one. And I see some beds in here. I think I see one on bed right up. Right up here. This water is actually clear for what it usually is. This one's... Oh yeah, dude, I see a fish right up there. I'll get ready. It's time for us to get a bite. Let's get it, boys. Right here. Oh, he just boiled. I think he's on me. Oh, yep. Dude, he just had the back of it. That was the most bed fish bite I've ever seen. Literally took all my pinchers off. If that wasn't a stereotypical bed bite, I don't know what is. Let's see if he'll bite it without the pinchers. Probably need to just put a new curl on. Oh my God, he ate it. That's a tiny one. Okay. Is that the is that the one I'm looking at? That might have been the one that bit me. 
That wasn't the fish I was fishing for though. That was a little tiny squirt. I'm tired of these small ones, man. We gotta we gotta start getting some bigger ones. And it's about to start. I feel it. If you're seeing beds in here, the water is actually cleared up in this pond. I have never seen the water this clear in this pond. This water is so weird in here though. It's usually like chocolate milk. All right, we're gonna keep going down this bank. See some beds here and there. I just don't like that, that sun just went away. There's one right on bed right there. Look at him. Dude. Oh my god, he's gonna eat it right in front of me, dude. He's literally eating it right now. He's got the tail in his mouth. Just inhale it. Just inhale it. Oh my god, dude. I'm literally standing as still as I can get. He's about to eat. <laughs> no way, bro. I wish you guys could see this. Oh, dude, just eat it. He just ate the tail again. He ate it. That is insane, bro. <laughs> this fish literally saw me, bro. Literally saw me. And I almost got his eye. I would have felt really bad. Look how light that fish is. I think it's from the clarity of this water. I mean, it's just so... I don't know. He was just literally sitting around on that bed. Not big. See, what's crazy about this pond, too, is this is another big fish pond, in my opinion. Like I, my, I consistently catch three to four boundaries out of here. And that's usually the only size that I'd catch. So I'd be surprised if we don't run up on a good one on bed. It's almost like as the day's gone on, a lot of these big fish have pushed off. It's like right when we started, we started with a giant. We caught a lot of consistently good fish. And now they've just been small. Oh my God, there's stuff all over him too. Let's see there's something wrong. Yeah, he's got like a disease, man. I don't know what's going on with some of these fish. That was the same thing that I saw in the other pond where it had like orange stuff all over the fish. I don't know what's going on. I got bit. Not big. A pretty little fish. A little fat one. What is up with you small guys right now? It is like your hour to be biting. I have never in my life. Okay. Okay. That was just rude. That was rude, buddy. All right. All right. No more small ones. We'll fish this corner for a second. Now I have a pond I want to go to. And that pond's got some toads, boy. As long as they're pushed up like these are, and they're actually big ones, we should have a good chance of catching some, some big old girls. My only problem right now is, like, even this pond, this is like a consistent three to four pounder pond. And I'm only seeing small ones at the moment. So we're out here at the 10 pounder pond now. And we gonna give it a try. We gonna see what happens, man. We might get us a great old big one in here. We're gonna keep on casting around this crawl. See if we can buy a bite. And this pond is the same way. It's kind of got that, you know, darkish brown tint to the water. And most of the ponds that I've fished with that darker water today have just panned out. All those other ponds recently that I've hit, I've just, I don't know, I've only caught small ones. So we're gonna try this pond out and depending on how this goes, we could even go back to the first pond we hit today and see if more fish pulled up on that bank because those are some giants in there. And if we can go back and catch another six, seven pounder, that would be sick. Dude, there's a fish right there. No freaking way, bro. That was a monster. I landed just a little too much on him. Kind of like that same mistake I made at the beginning of the day. Just having to pan out. Dude, there's another one on bed down this bank. Oh gosh, man. Yeah, there's one right here on bed, which I don't know where he just went. I kind of spooked this one. But there's a bed about six, seven foot down. It's got another fish on it. All right, what we're gonna do we're gonna let this fish pull back up and we're gonna catch this other one. He just swirled. He got it. Oh my gosh, I stuck him too. Gosh dang it, man. He just didn't have it all the way. Maybe I didn't get the hook in him then. Dude, he ate it already. Dude, oh my gosh. This fish is just not putting it all the way in his mouth. Took my pincher. I guess I didn't stick him all the way then. He's aggressive. 
Oh. Dude, he's not eating it, bro. I don't know how else. It's the most aggressive bedfish I've seen all year. I mean, dude. I mean, do I wait? He's just grabbing it and taking it off the bed. I mean, that just he ate it again. Oh my gosh. He is so aggressive, dude. Oh. That is a good high two pounder. He's not even three pounds, man. Super fat though. That was the most aggressive bed fish I've seen in such a long time. And look at that cool little spot on him, man. Got a beautiful black marking on that fish. That was a crazy eat, man. I mean, he was so aggressive. There, there might be two up there. Let's put a new crawl on and throw it back up there. There might be, now that I'm looking at it, it looks like there's two different beds. So I think that fish I missed could have been a different, oh yeah, there's another boil. Okay, here we go, boys, let's lock in. So hopefully this fish will eat it all the way because she ate it like three times just was not committing let's see what we got working here lock in boys lock in right there on our bed he ate it bro we got him that time oh my god next flip another high two pounder god these buck bass are freaking insane man Let's go. There is so many fish on this bank right now, man. Oh boy. What are we getting into, guys? Just had to go back to some darker water, man, and they're just smoking. Smoking it. And these fish are all healthy in here, too. Just super fat. Not giants by any means, but good two pound, solid two pound fish. Thank you, baby. There she goes. It was like five bites and five casts. Two fish, back-to-back -back cast. Let's keep this rolling, man. We're just gonna keep on flipping until we can't get bites no more here. Dude. Oh, that was a monster, dude. I couldn't even move that fish. This is the craziest little deal I've ever seen, man. It is like back to back to back to back. To, it don't stop. And that makes me think there's males and females up there. That one was a big fish bite, man. Such a big fish bite right there. I literally felt like I hooked into a brick wall. I can't even move that fish. I think we just caught the two males. There should be some bigger ones. Let's go eating. Dude, they're loaded on this thing. Okay. Another buck bass. I've not seen any females yet. Unless one of the fish I hooked was a female. That happened to came up, come off. Another pretty fish. They're loaded down this bank, man. They're just staged up perfectly. Okay, that's it. That's it right there. That's a better one. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh my gosh. That's a three. They're close to it. I can't believe they're all the same size just about. Crazy how you find the right spot. And it's just instant. It's like it don't stop. That's close to a three pounder right there. These fish are just so thick and stout, dude. Beautiful. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. There she goes. Well, this crawl is not usable. <laughs> they are smoking it, man. I'm gonna run out of crawls. These fish are on bed in here so good, guys. And that poor lady down there was so nice. She, uh, just looking out about the gators, which me and Connor know about the gators because when we filmed a live bait video out here, they would not leave us alone. And I actually ended up hooking one <laughs> somehow. She was super nice. I was like telling her, I'm like, I can get out of your way. 
I got a little excited. I want to walk down the bank some. I usually don't walk down that bank, but she was super kind. She didn't care if I fished there. At least that's what she said. But we're going to fish down this way a little bit more. That bank was loaded, man. It was absolutely loaded. And then I have a little pop and stop that I can make inside some trees in that back corner. Kind of want to go deep in the forest here, guys. We've just been going through the woods today. Has been the trend to find these biggins. All the ponds that don't have the woods that we haven't gone in, we have not had any luck. But as soon as we get up in the trees, go in the woods, we're getting bites and they're big. I just kind of want to scout out this area. I'm not sure if they're going to be. I mean, this is a perfect shallow pocket that I would think they would stage up in pretty good. I just kind of want to scout it out, make a few flips here and there. With how those fish were eating on that bank, though, I mean, oh my gosh. We should know if there's fish back here, <laughs> you know? You make a flip in the right spot, you should at least try to hit it. I can't even cast, dude. I'm trying. It's a tricky little spot. It's a tricky little spot. Just that whole main part of the pond back there, I mean, they were just... It was fish after fish after fish after fish. And where we walk up and fish, there wasn't really any. But once I walked, you know, a couple hundred foot down, there it was there. Oh, there's a giant on bed right to my left, dude. And I'm talking, he is right up on me. Dude, he's right under this tree right here, guys. Oh, gosh, I didn't mean to do that. He ate it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, it's a monster. It is a giant, giant. <gasps> oh my god! Let's go! I am at disbelief on that bite, man. This is the one. I just freaking saw him. Five pounder, man. So look, you got this tree right here, and you see how you can see the orange is water, and there's some fry at the top. I just happen to see him swim by. I go to flip under and I messed up and I dropped right at the grass, but I saw him swimming this way. So I let it drop and I felt him pick it up, man. I didn't near punch that fish out of the grass. We're gonna get a weight on her. This is why you never give up. We started off the video with a six and a half pounder. It started to slow down for us. Started catching a bunch of small ones and we stayed true to ourselves. We kept on attempting, kept on trying, kept on fishing and boom, we hook another Mondo. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, she's close to five. 4.78 man so close to a five pounder and this back pocket paid off guys we went back in the forest that has been a trend today we caught another freaking nice one almost five pounder right there let's go baby get her back in the water thank you honey that's a freaking great there she goes <laughs> she was right there man I'm sitting here, I see that fry and I'm just staring at it. You know, we already made a slight flip in front of it. And I'm like, you know what? It just, there should be a fish there. And I happen to look to my left and just see her shadow sitting right under that dang tree, man. 